Hi people, Flying Doctor C back here. Uh, I'm just going to be, um, this is just a little informative one for anyone who's uh, up for building cells and has uh, come across this. It's just a few little um, building tips and uh, experimental tips, little practical tips. Um, one of the first things I'm going to start off with is uh, if you're building cells out of plates like this, of plates. I mean, you usually have holes through there with nylon nylon bolts going through, and you want to test out different configurations. Now, if you want to do this, it's usually quite a hassle. If you, you go to all the extreme of making up your cell, and then here's one of my cells, this is one I made earlier, uh, with bolts, bolts at the side there, negative four neutrals, positive in the middle, four neutrals, another negative. Uh, you bolt it all together and then say so you want to change the configuration. Uh, it's a right palaver, I'm bolting it all and all that stuff. Uh, this is a good place to start with a um, water filter housing. These take really high temperatures, they're really sturdy, really tough and they're built for plumbing. Right, to get back to the plates, um, this is a cell I made earlier, you can see the plates in there, and with these uh, threaded stainless steel um, bolts going through there. Now if you want to change your configurations, you're using these type of plates, I've come up with this idea, if you just take your threaded stainless steel rod and put it in your vise, and if you can see that there, there's just a little slot that I've sawn through with a hacksaw at the top there. Just about 20 mil into it. Now then you can just pinch these together in the vise or with the pliers. And then you take the plate, uh, you can have your, base, your plates all bolted together. And then you just take your little rod there like that. And you just push that in there like that that's going to stay there great. You can you can change all your configurations by just pressing these and put your electrodes on there. It stays there, it's perfectly perfectly great. Uh, once you've decided on your configuration, um, same like I have with this one, uh, I've just done the same thing, I've just pushed them into the plates there and uh, it's perfectly stable. It's just, you know, there's loads of weight on there, there's all the plates, absolutely stable. And then you just take your water filter housing, it already has the four holes in the top there. Uh, they're already piloted to start with, you can then you just drill them out. And then these just go through those holes into there, out the other side. Then you just You've got your cell on there and you can just screw it into your water filter housing like that. These are absolutely tough. Um, if you're using wet cells, uh, these are the things to use. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can get them most places, just do your research on the net, shop around, not any other thing. Um, these are actually built strong for plumbing. All normal plumbing fittings fit in there. There's a uh, elbow just fit into the side. That's already threaded on the side of your water filter housing. Um, I've just put a 15mm elbow on there with a piece of 15mm uh, copper there, and there's just a, a, a push fit cap there that you can fill your cell. Although I don't actually use that much, so I just unscrew the thing and fill it up. Uh, at the front there, you have another thread there. You just like use a bit of PTFE tape, get your fittings from your plumbing store, uh, half inch copper pipe, your tube on the other end, um, oops, your tube on the other end, you can just have another push fit on there. Uh, you need to have used plumbing fittings because hydrogen will leak through absolutely anything. Don't go using 
silly little um, jars and jam jars and and sort of tea caddy or coffee jar type things they're useless uh, they won't take the heat you've got to have something really strong uh, water filter housing ideal thing to use unless you're going to make dry cells but with this I'm talking about um, making different plates and stuff different configurations these are the ideal things because you can do all sorts of things you can actually see what's going on you can see the bubble production everything is perfect lick uh, another thing you're going to want is a voltmeter you can get these from most hardware places cost you about six seven pound um, yeah uh, another handy thing is just a little infrared uh, temperature gauge which you can just point at yourself and uh, see what your temperatures see what temperatures going on there uh, okay this is another cell I made up some time back um, this was the double barrel there's a video of this uh, this is a close-up of the construction you see it's just two Maya style tubes uh, tube in the top there there's just zip ties in between there with about a sixteenth of an inch gap uh, once again the old friend the uh, uh, threaded rod it's really cheap to get that just clips on there with um, Jubilee clip stainless steel Jubilee clip same for your positive just there stainless steel Jubilee clip and then that just goes through through the top of there and screws in to your water filter housing which is great uh, also just wanted to point out um, on these so you can get air into the cell uh, there's these little one-way valves you can just stick on the top you can get them from any aquarium store um, that's it uh, that's all I can tell you at the moment I think but just thought I'd give you a few little tips and and don't forget the one with the little threaded rod it's a great great system see you later people flying dock out